Hello, dear friends. Welcome. Uh, my name is Chris. This is your first time um, stumbling on my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoy it here. And if you do, please do those YouTubey things. Like, like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. Um, I would really appreciate it. And to all my dear friends and True Blues, uh, thank you so much for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means the world to me. So, while I'm talking, I'm just going to open this big old box. So, today I have an unboxing of Dreamer Designs. Um, so, just just came in like two seconds ago. <laughs> I'm so excited to see it. Um, there are two kits in here. However, you, just, you know, as my usual thing, how I do it, I only show one per unboxing. Um, let's see here and this here uh, let me get rid of that I'll put this over here for now um so yes okay so here is the box of course we have our it's a little holographic you know pretty purples and pinks up here in the drill field and over here um, you know, typical standard box, very nice. It has a little handle if you need that. Um, so this is a 60 by 70 square. And of course it is like, as I said, um, it's from Romy Lerda. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, have you had seen my previous two? I love them. I'm so excited about this this, um, this artist and uh, the kits and everything. Um, now with these two, uh, how did I work this out? <laughs> because it was kind of like the other two I really wanted to get, especially the round one was the top one I wanted to get, um, the Tropical Charms. Um, and then the newer one that kind of have come out around that time was the Ace of Alice, which was the Alice in Wonderland themed one. I was like, you know what? That is a theme kind of one. It's not just a pretty one. So I'm going to get that. I really loved it. I wanted an Alice um, kind of paint, big painting for a while. And finally it kind of like there's one that I really loved. Um, and all that. So how did I wind up with this? I'm just going to talk, keep talking while I open this. Again, I talk a lot. So I don't want to just waste time and, with you just looking at nothing. <laughs> um, so... I got those two, and then what had happened was, <laughs> as they, things always do, well, uh, they had two discount codes that were available. There was a one that I used, one I'm using, just because they sent it in the email, um, and that was like a President's Day one, and was buy one, get one 50% off. And the other one was like a Valentine's themed one, which was also a buy one, get me 50% off. Um, and so I was going to just use the Valentine's one, but then I got the email and I was like, ah, I'll just use this one. You know, it, it doesn't really matter. It's the same discount. So not only did I get a discount on the, uh, you know, 50% off on one of the kits. So you're basically buying one and a half. Um, but thanks to my dear friend, Sherry. So Sherry, like oh, probably last year, maybe I, I don't, I want to say last year sometimes. I don't know. I didn't look up the exact time. She had sent me, um, generously sent me a gift card. Uh, uh, it was, it was so kind and generous of her to do. So Sherry, thank you so much. I had used part of the, I'm just going to open, again, open this while I'm talking. So I had actually wound up using a uh, part of the gift card on a previous kit, which was, um, that, uh, Regan, I always forget her, how to say her last name. I, I want to say Kubacek, but I don't know if that's correctly. Um, it was called Tis the Season and it was this, you know, I, ha I actually diamond painted that one already and it came out fabulously. It was really fun to do and it came out wonderfully. And it's, you know, with her, her, uh, you know, girl with, um, like, I think oh, there was a cat in there with the presents and, it, you know, wintertime theme one. And so I had just done that a few months ago. Um, but I bought the kit, um, probably a year ago, I think. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking these, uh, timelines are correctly. I'm, again, memory is really bad. So, yeah. 
So I had used that. Now, what had happened was, I, I'm just gonna show these to you. You can see what they are, what comes in the kit. So I had um, used it. Now, I didn't remember I used it. And the thing is, when you use um, gift cards, they don't, I don't think they, they don't show up on the receipt um, that you get uh, at checkout, like the um, ending receipt or your history receipt. It just shows what the price was. So I had gone, gone through, um, I was going through something or I was doing something and I had seen, oh, that's right, Sherry sent me this gift card. And again, like I said, my absent-mindedness, I didn't remember that I used it. I didn't remember that I had probably to talk, talk about it in the unboxing video about it. Um, you know, I, I forgot all about that. So I actually wound up trying, I put the code, the discount um, number or the just gift card number in the checkout. And it like, it uh, didn't come off the whole amount. So I was like, hmm, what's going on here? Did I use this? So I went back to see when exactly she sent me the card and the orders. And so there are only like, I think two or three orders from uh, the time when, uh, after she would have sent me the gift card. By the way, these are just, uh, these are little dividers that you put in here in case uh, this is your first time. Again, everything else should be standard. You should know everything else, but this is for the, for a multiple thing. Um, so, uh, I was kind of like, okay, what's going on here? Um, did I use it already? I don't know. It didn't show it anywhere. So I, then I was like, well, um, does this depreciate? Cause I, if I had it over a year, maybe did I like lose like a lot on it? So I emailed the, or I used the customer service, um, thing on the website, uh, the live chat website on the live chat area. And I emailed, uh, I messaged them and they're, went there, oh, Chris speak. Uh, I was just so excited to see this and I, I, I have been talking so long. Um, so their customer service is really great. I've had to speak to them twice. So I, in the previous, probably two years ago already, I had, I got a replacement canvas because something was amiss with it. Again, they had no issue with that. They contacted me immediately. I got, I gave them the information they had. They said, fine, we'll send you a canvas. And again, this time, immediately I got a response back. They, they'll look into it. And so wind up they sh wind up showing me their back end receipt of where I had used a gift card previously. Um, so that's why some of the amount was taken off. And so it was just to confirm that it wasn't, there wasn't a problem with the card or the number or anything else that I actually had used it. So I was very thankful that they, went through that and looked through it and confirmed that it was all, you know, on the up and up, <laughs> basically. So I did still have some left on the card. So with the buy one, get one a half off and plus the, basically, uh, the rest that was left on the gift card, I basically, it turned into a pretty much a buy one, get one free, buy one, get one like for 90% off, that kind of thing. So I'm like, listen, I can't pass up on these deals. <laughs> I had on the previous order, I had a gift card and 15% off on, on the items. And on this, I get basically buy almost a buy one, get one free with my gift card and a, a discount code. Listen, this is expensive stuff. I don't have money to that. I can't just buy everything. I, I have to be on the sly when I buy stuff and I worry about shipping and all that kind of stuff because I don't want to throw money away on shipping. So, you know, I don't buy a lot of these premium kits very often. And when I can get them and be smart with how the money is allocated and all that, I got to do it. And so it came out to where it was going to work in my favor um, these couple times. And I got the kits I really loved. And so I'm, you know, really happy about this. Okay, enough about all that. I know you don't really care about my finances, so it's probably worked out, but you know, I do think it's important to know that, you know, you know, we, we listen, this is just how life is, you know. Uh, we, we all can't just buy everything we want. Um, it's hard to do sometimes, and I don't mind telling people that, you know, it's, I have an issue with buying stuff because of the money issue. I don't think that's shameful or anything wrong with that, you know. It's just life. 
and I think being open and honest about stuff like that is important. So, uh-oh, oh no, okay. I was wait afraid that came off my, uh, one of the pre-cut labels. So, what do we get inside? I showed you all the tool kit stuff. Um, again, tips and tricks and how, uh, instructions and save 15% off on your next purchase. I guess with the scan me code. Uh, I never noticed that because I never really look at these. <laughs> um, thank you for your purchase, that kind of stuff. Just, uh, same old, same old. So, here are our drills and our colors. Now, this is a square. Uh, as you would have known, this kit is called Shining Grace. Um, again, I love this, this, these, um, this artwork. So, I'm willing to do some more squares. I have found that, number one, I, I don't mind doing squares too much if there's not like super confetti. If there's a lot of uh, color block and line block, I'm good with that. And plus, I have found personally that I do like Dreamer Design squares. There's not um, popping. I've never had popping issues. And uh, let me just look for the ABs here. It starts at 55. Um... I have found that I don't um, have popping, and the gapping really isn't that much of an issue. Um, sometimes on certain colors, it's a little bit more, usually on the kind of more black or dark, or that um, dark, uh, what do you call it? The dark blue, um, it's just a teeny bit, but for the most part, 95% of the time, I find that their gapping is not an issue. Popping has never been an issue on all my Dreamer designs. So, Dreamer designs, I trust to do squares. And as long as I trust to do this, their squares and there's not a uh, confetti that's gonna drive me insane, I'm good with it. So I decided to uh, take these colors out. These are all the ABs in the kit. I'm going to show you these first, and then we'll look at the picture and the canvas. Wow, it's 13 minutes in almost, and I still haven't shown you anything, basically. Sorry, guys. It's me. <laughs> Crazy. So, this is... I'm not, now, my camera's back here, so I can't really get too close. Sorry about that. So, this is a beautiful pink. This, I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous, light pink. Now, I have a big old bag of this beautiful sun yellow and a, a very creamy yellow, a light yellow. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what happens when I talk too much. I start coughing and my throat gets a little messed up. Um, like I said before, their ABs on squares are a whole lot better than the ABs on rounds. Um, you, can really, you can see the shimmer and shine uh, quite well on that. Um, then we go to here. We have now, this is basically a hot kind of pink, bubblegum pink. Beautiful. We have a bit of lavender, a bit of a corn, like a corn flower blue, beautiful, periwinkle-ish, and two bags of the white, which in my opinion is usually the best AB in, in squares for sure. Um, well, well, either way, all around, I think. So, I know you know the name of the kit, but what does it look like? Well, I'm going to show you. There are, I'll just repeat, 61 colors. Um, there's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ABs. This is a 60 by 70 or centimeter or 23.6 by 27.6 uh, inches. And it is a square and it's uh, called Shining Grace by Romy Lerda. These are all stickers, including the extra stickers over here. Oops. And this is our kit. Look how gorgeous she is. She has a blue outfit on, her brown hair, the beautiful, like, I think, gray eyes, all those flowers and butterflies surrounding her. Fabulous. So my dear friend Maritza will have this, been working on this one, I believe. She unboxed it, I believe. And uh, I think she's loving how it's coming out. And I'm glad I have her too. Here's the Legends of the Fall. Okay. So you would have thought I should have... Open this previous before, but 
to just straighten it out. But no, why would I do something silly like that, right? So, of course, the... Actually, I'm just going to do it anyways now. Oops. So, the back is nice and soft. Uh, you know, it's, it has that woven fabric-y stuff. And they have really changed for the better their canvas. So, here she is. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And look at her, guys. If this is your first time seeing this or seeing a Romy Lerda, if you've never seen any other ones, oh, she's just stunning. Um, I guess I'll get up to show you a close up. So, here we have our information here. And here's a close up of the canvas. So you can see the drill field, the beautiful flowers and the butterflies. You can see her eyes. I actually do really love, again, these this, the face on her characters because they're not sad faces. They, to me, they look just like happy women, happy girls, whatever you want to call them. You know, there's no sadness or meanness or anything. They just look... Happy, content, pretty. Beautiful. And so, here we go. Okay. So, if you don't mind, I'm just going to turn her upside down. Um, so, I can see a little more and tell you some more stuff up close. And um, let's look. Again, yes, same thing. This is very much a color block, line block canvas. There's not really much confetti. Um, of course, there are the, the flowers and the butterflies, but again, you have just a handful or, or two, handful or two of colors, you know? So even though there's 61 colors in this kit, you're not gonna be doing 61 colors in this area. You know, you're just gonna be doing maybe, you know, who knows, 12, 15 colors, uh, you know, in this size area. That's not that bad, again. Lots of uh, color blocking, lots of line blocking. Love it. Again, um, so we have her. She's in her blue outfit. There's like this little filigree design in here. Um, little round, rounded filigrees. Um, then you have a butterfly, you have flowers here. The background is not a solid color, which I really like how they did the background. Um, it's uh, this like sh shades of blue and look like blue and white, maybe grays. I don't know. <laughs> what does it look like on here? See, on here it looks like grays, but I don't know. I think where somebody said it might be blues or purples. I don't know. Um, it doesn't matter, really. I'm, I'm not going to look through the thing, but um, either way, it's going to be very pretty. Again, she has those blue, those bluish, purpley, gray eyes. Um, again, flowers, butterflies over here. I just think it's really stunning. Um, so let's look for the ABs. I'm going to do the smaller ones first. So let's start out with the lavender. The lavender AB, which is number 57. And that is the triangle, like a triangle block, you know, half or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll just look for, I'll just point it out to you where they are. And of course, remember, you could always judge this up yourself. So I only see that in one area so far, and I only see a little bit of that in this purple flower up here. That's the only area. There is like a purplish kind of flower here, or a bluish flower, but not there. It's only over there. But again, and without whatever you have left over too, if you use that, if you can, um, so again, if you have a a, like a little bit of ABs, like in here, what you wanted to do, even if you just work in sections and you can find them on your canvas, like, like I said, in here, those purple flower, if you just um, diamond paint the ABs in there and whatever you have left over, you can be like, all right, I have this left over. Where else can I put this in this painting? You know? <laughs> so let's do the blue that... that Cornflower blue is 56, and that is oh, yeah, another symbol I can't uh, 
explain, so I'm just not even going to explain it. <laughs> okay, so we have a little bit of that in this flower, in the middle of this flower here. Uh, again, in this blue flower over here. Spread about a little bit. Mm. A bunch of them in this flower here. This blue flower. So that's where those go. Uh, then the bright bubblegummy pink. 58. And that is the letter P. Okay, we have some uh, like little bunches down in here in this flower. And this one as well. A little bit on the side of her face over there. On the, uh, kind of outlining her face. Which is a little odd, I will say that. But I'm going to trust the process. It's not in the middle of her face, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, just a little bit, tiny bit on the side here. And again, if you didn't want to do that, you could just replace whatever um, uh, colors already being next to it. You could just take that, that AB out and just use that color if you didn't want it in her face at all. You know. And again, lots of the, the a pink AB is in this flower as well. Okay, so there's those two. Uh, while well, I have this here, might as well do it. The white. Two big bags of white. Uh, that would be the O symbol. So that's lots of places. <laughs> we have, let's start of them again in her eyes. The whites of her eyes and little highlights in the middle, both eyes. Um, then we start over here. They have little dabs and dots in the background up here and up back here. Um, if, again, if you wanted to, you could add more. You could add other stuff like quad cubes or special drills. You know, again, just dots and dots of white all over the place in the background. You have them all throughout the butterfly here where you see the white on the wings of the butterfly. Uh, again, more back here. The outline of the leaf over here. More over here. Again, all throughout this butterfly too. All throughout the outlining of these flowers and leaves flower leaves here at one again all throughout the butterfly again all throughout the and then background over here throughout this butterfly so the butterflies are going to be super white blingy well, i don't even use that word zhuzhi I, I hate actually that word i use the word <laughs> oh now the very light pink one which is very pretty again 59 I thought I did that one already. Hmm. No, I didn't. Sorry. Um, so that, again, is going to be in the flowers. These pink flowers, just little bits right in here. Bits in here. Um, a couple on this flower. I know you can't see it up here. This little rosebud flower up here. Uh, a couple of... Nope, not a yeah, couple in this rosebud flower here. Again, not too much of those around. Um, then we have the beautiful bright yellow, this one. 60, which is the 9. So we have lots of um, them, again, on the um, outside kind of the petal. And here, this flower. Throughout the butterfly down here. Throughout the butterfly here. Uh, a little bit in the center of this flower. Some in this little flower bud here, center of the flower, center of the flower, center of the flower, in the butterfly, center of the flower, center of the flower, over the a lot of the flower here, center of the butterfly. And finally, our last one is the light yellow, which I'm sure is going to be the same one in the flower, in the butterfly, in the flower, in the butterfly. And there you have it. So tons of babies. It's going to be very beautiful. Don't you think? So let me know what you think, guys. What do you think of her? I want to know all your thoughts in the comments. Should I add stuff? You know, uh, again, it's it's just, it's funny too, because this doesn't look like it's, it's overwhelmingly big. It looks pretty manageable. Size so doing it. Um... Yeah, so give me all your thoughts. I want to know all the thoughts. Um, do you like her? Um, you know, 
let me know. Uh, I love, love, love it. She's just so beautiful. Okay, I've wasted enough of time, <laughs> almost 25 minutes. With that said, I will say thank you so much for joining me today. I truly appreciate it. Um, again, leave me all your comments. And until next time, everybody, please be safe, be happy, stay safe, stay happy, and check out Dreamer Designs. They have some great stuff. Look at how gorgeous. Oh, bye, guys.